It's the bane of a few communes near Konyin. A mine was there barely several years ago. Powerful machines mined thousands of tons of lignite. The fossil fuel was then taken to the Konyin power plant, which was an important element of the national electric grid. A large part of the country made use of the electricity produced there. When the lignite deposits ran out, the pits were backfilled with millions of tons of so-called overburden. A moon-like scenery had emerged. Rare weeds grow on heaps of loam and sand. Each gust of wind carries clouds of dust. Recreational centers had been opened on some of the land thanks to EU financial support. A sports airfield has been active for years in another location of a former mound. Reintroducing agricultural activity is impossible without huge investment. Can plants be of assistance? Spring of 2014 was indeed beautiful. Another season of bringing life back to the barren land around Konyin began in April. The project of its reclamation has been ongoing since 2012. Working in the hardest conditions, farmers of the agricultural co-op in Kazimierz Biskupi plowed several hectares of land. The giant tractors had a hard time dragging the plows. They were often literally skidding in the slimy clay. The plowed fields were then harrowed and sown with fibrous hemp seeds. The grown hemp shall be an excellent material for industrial use. The work was done within the research program developed by the team headed by Professor Jerzy Malikowski. The team works at the Institute of Natural Fibers and Medicinal Plants in Poznań. It is here that research is conducted on processing hemp straw by the method of decortication. Fiber achieved this way is a raw material for industry. Fantastic colors, shapes, and characteristics. Cultivated plants, weeds, and sylvan plants. They all can be useful if we have proper knowledge of them. Research on the application of plant products is conducted at the Institute of Natural Fibers and Medicinal Plants in Poznań. Natural fibers have a lower density than fiber class. This means that the product is lighter. This is of great importance in the case of airplanes and automobiles. Natural fibers effectively muffle noise and dampen vibrations, therefore may be used to soundproof buildings. They also provide better thermal insulation. Finely ground fibers and shive combined with plastics can also provide material for the production of home furnishings, construction elements or, for example, batteries and other electrical equipment. Land reclamation requires high-quality sowing material. Varieties or lines of hemp yielding the highest crops must be chosen and developed. This is the task of the biological laboratory at the Institute. This is where plants are grown in a chamber providing suitable climatic conditions and light. In a few years, they will find their way to our fields. Research into the characteristics of new varieties of industrial plants is conducted at the experimental station in Pentkovo near Poznań. A large part of the cultivated plants comprises fibrous hemp of the Białobrzeskie variety, an achievement of the Institute of Natural Fibers and Medicinal Plants. It is this specific variety that has been used on the wasteland of the post-lignite mine. June 2014 started out rather mild, but nature had been busy as usual. With the beginning of summer, the fields around Konyin turned green. Despite adverse and rainy weather earlier, the hemp sprang up. It still wasn't high and looked rather delicate. We must bear in mind that this is an industrial strain used only for producing fiber. Next to it, Alpha Alpha, which had also been planted as part of the reclamation project, was already being harvested. A lot of picturesque chamomile could be spotted there too. Flocks of birds circled over the fields while, at a distance, storks walked in their dignified manner. Life had slowly started returning to these unfriendly areas. This is the initial success of the land reclamation program of the Institute of Natural Fibers and Medicinal Plants. 
The experiment continued. The hemp needed a few more months before it grew to the required height. This way, the scientists want to speed up the process of a spontaneous return of plants to the former mining areas. Presently, after many years, life has come back to the waste heaps. Foresters have already started to cut down old trees, which made the approach path to the sports airfield difficult. High hemp is a great material for industry. The scientists are already working on future use of the plants once the reclamation project is completed and there will be an abundance of this raw material. The dried plants find their way to the experimental station of the Institute of Natural Fibers and Medicinal Plants in Stenshev near Poznan, where machines separate the fibers from these stems. The fibers are placed and combed in a way which will make them a raw material suitable for further production. Long slivers stretched out from transport drums are fed into machines which perform a sort of spinning process. This is where hempen twine is made, which is in high demand in agriculture as well as the meat and food processing sector. This type of twine finds multiple application. In order to increase productivity and find new use for hemp fibers, the scientists from the Institute of Natural Fibers and Medicinal Plants cooperate with practitioners. A beautiful hot summer has arrived. Most of us have gone away on holidays. Cereals have started to ripen. The hemp on the fields near Konin has grown high over the past few months. It exceeds two and a half meters in places. And this is not yet the peak of its growth potential. Professor Jerzy Malikowski, the head of the project, and Miroslav Grobelny, president of the agricultural co-op in Kazimierz Biskupi, examine the imposing specimens. Long queues line up for briquettes made of it. Hemp fiber, shive, is also good material for producing paper and cardboard. It's harvest time. Combines harvest the ripe cereals. Hemp is waiting for its turn. An intense, characteristic smell spreads around the field. The high and tough plants require special machines. The harvester divides the hemp plants into four parts. The uneven terrain has caused some sections of the field to yield excellent crops, while in other areas the hemp plants registered modest growth. However, all the plants provided shelter to insects, numerous birds and animals. Hemp seeds are a delicacy for many avian guests, a real bird diner. The passing harvester provokes a noisy departure of the flock. The scientists from the Institute of Natural Fibers and Medicinal Plants commence with examining the effects of the plant cultivation. What has been the efficiency of green mass production? The plant yield is measured on a single square meter. Have the hemp roots caused any change in the soil? A camera inserted into a drilled hole shows the alignment of the root system. The roots go deep to even 75 centimeters. In this way, they have stabilized the soil and channeled air into the loam. Meanwhile, the harvester has finished its field assignment. Do the birds feel some disappointment when the work is done? The harvested hemp remains on the field. It still awaits further agricultural agronomic treatment. Contrary to expectations, this utility building is really unusual. Its walls have been filled with hemp shive and the ceiling insulated with mats made of hemp fiber. Specialists from the Institute of Natural Fibers and Medicinal Plants have left the plasterwork structure exposed on purpose. This shows that hemp can be a first-class building material with a high thermal protection rate. Just another of its future applications. The beautiful and colorful Polish autumn is approaching. Bright sunny days give way to fog and drizzle. After two weeks on the ground, the fragmented hemp stems have turned brown. The fields around Konin are again full of movement. 
farming machines have arrived. First, the stems had been sprayed with an agent containing useful microorganisms which regenerates the soil, thus creating conditions for optimal plant growth. This is a crucial operation. The microorganisms accelerate humus formation from the remains of organic matter and enrich biological life in the soil. Additionally, atmospheric nitrogen makes its way into the soil much quicker. This kind of spraying also gets rid of rotting and eliminates mold. Now a tractor with a disc harrow mixes the hemp stems with the soil. The scientists carefully collect soil samples. How many and what kind of microorganisms have managed to settle in it? The gathered samples are sent to the biological laboratory of the Poznań University of Life Sciences. After separating the proteins, specialists will help in evaluating the effects of the hemp cultivation. Now, everything will be left idle till winter. This marks a successive year of the experiment. After six years of hemp cultivation, the first layer of soil will form. This will allow the introduction of other crops. Of course, growing hemp will still be possible and desirable. It will be an excellent material for many sectors of industry, guaranteeing natural, annually renewable raw material, for instance, for the production of protective mats used in agriculture. Animal breeding and production requires maintaining hygiene standards and antibacterial protection. A very important aspect is preventing the spread of diseases. Plagues may be transmitted on vehicle tires. Artificial sponges soaked with proper agents are used to disinfect them. Unfortunately, after utilization, they constitute troublesome waste. Special purpose mats are produced at the experimental station of the Institute of Natural Fibers and Medicinal Plants in Stenshev. The hemp fiber bulk must be purified, segregated, and spread in a proper manner. Thus prepared rolls are fed into machines where the fibers are again separated and cleansed and the fleece is formed. The achieved delicate gauze is several times folded and needled and is used for making hemp non-woven. After being moistened with the disinfectant, the mat will be used to construct barriers for preventing the spread of zoonotic, viral and bacterial diseases. Such mats are durable, well absorb antiviral agents, do not interfere with vehicle movement and can prove an effective tire disinfectant. After use, the mats can be composted. Meanwhile, stillness prevails in the fields around Konyun. The land and farmers are preparing for another vegetative cycle. The reclamation experiment involving post-mining areas is bound to give increasingly better results with each passing month. <laughs>